Hi, my friends. I'm getting a little spinning dial over here, so I'm going to let it queue up pretty quickly, hopefully. Um, here we go. We are live. Hi. How is everybody? <laughs> it's 2020. I think I know how everybody is. Um, I'm real uh, behind in, in uh, creating some of these vir virtually simple strategy videos, and they do cover different areas. Some of them cover uh, one of my hats. I wear many hats, as you all know. Um, some of them carry uh, cover more uh, virtual meeting concierge subjects, and some of them are more health related like today's, but you know, it's all about health because if you don't feel good, it's kind of hard to do other business things when you're not feeling well. Um, and I, by no way, am pretending to be a doctor or a healthcare practitioner. I am simply sharing with you today, um, seven, I had to write this down, solid sinus, solid, simple sinus supporting steps our strategies. And um, I'm, I, again, I'm going to keep these super simple. Uh, anybody can do. I'm not trying to sell you anything. I do sell essential oils, so I will tell you that up front. But my, my biggest care is that people feel well right now, because right now it's important to support our sinus and our lung health um, for many reasons. So I'm going to get started because I like to keep these things short and sweet and to the point. And the first one, I'm going to just address air quality in general. Um, as of the last week, those of us who live out west, and I am in the Las Vegas area, but those of us in places like Oregon, Colorado, California, Nevada, Arizona, we're dealing with horrible air quality. Uh, I took some pictures on Monday of just how bizarre our skies look, and I can only feel for the people who have lost homes. I mean, I mean more than feel. I mean, I'm praying like crazy for these people, but people have lost homes. Um, there, the air in those places that are close to where the fires are is just horrendous. It's always bad in the summer, but you know, this year it just feels even harder. And I know for us, you know, we've been dealing typically with over 100 degree weather. So when you have poor air quality and you are dealing with like when I when I work one of my jobs, I, you know, like many people, I have to wear a mask. And so you're outside 100 degree weather wearing a mask with smoke. We also have one of those grow houses near us where I work and they vent. And so all of a sudden you've got this smell of um, cannabis growing, which is not a smell I like. I actually think I have an allergy to to it. Um, sorry to offend anybody, but I, I when I smell people smoking, it just really affects me. So I've already like lost half my people. Um, <laughs> I don't care. I really, I care about health. So let's go into supporting for air quality. Whatever your challenge is, pollution, smoke, um, wearing, uh, you know, a mask and inhaling your own CO2 all day long, you know, we're dealing with it. So what I love to do, and you may be able to hear this in the background, I kind of turned it down. Oops, just, it shut off. <laughs> there we go. Diffusing. Um, one of my favorite easy, simple things to do, and when I come home from having worked, and uh, you know, I'm just, I'm a shallow breather anyway, so anything that affects my breathing, I just really want to support it. I've got eucalyptus in here right now, eucalyptus globulus. There's actually a ton of different eucalyptus. When I went to Hawaii, I saw so many different types. So I like to have this by my bedside, um, diffusing at night. Right now, because I'm working at home today, I have diffusers throughout the house. Um, whether it be something like eucalyptus, you know, just opens up your airways. Uh, purification is another one. This is a blend. These are Young Living. I've been using Young Living since my son was a, a baby, since he was like three months old, put on the bottoms of his feet. Anyway, purification, that's another great one that's real sinus supportive. Um, some people like to diffuse thieves. Um, thieves is another good one. That's that's a, um, a real spicy smell. It's got cinnamon and clove in it, and it's just a wonderful smell. So this is this type of diffuser right here is a cool mist diffuser, and you can't really, I don't think you can see it. Well, you might be able to a little bit, but um, there's different types of diffusers. I prefer the ones that are putting, like, it's basically throwing um, very tiny essential oil droplets out, and I prefer these. They don't heat the oil. I feel like the oil's already been prepared to perfection, and so all I want to do is disperse it through the air. And I tell you, when I come home, I just... 
I can't get enough. And, and it causes me to breathe deeper because I get very engrossed in my work and I'll lean into my computer and I'll realize I'm hunching over and not breathing. So air quality, um, not only improving the air around you, but um, the air quality that you're pulling into your lungs after being cooped up all day. Uh, nasal flushing. This is a favorite one to talk about because it draws a line in the sand for a lot of people. This is a neti pot. Looks like a little Aladdin lamp. And those of you who have followed me for years, I, I do something on the neti pot pretty much every year. It, it is something I resisted at first. And uh, my brother, Greg, thank you, Greg. He's the one that really, really kept saying, Tara, you know, back in Tennessee, I had so many challenges with my sinuses. I was, I think, developing an allergic reaction to grass, really everything there in Nashville. <laughs> um, and you basically take purified water. You take uh, some Himalayan sea salt. You want to use non-iodized salt and pure water. You do not want to use sink water. It has chlorine and other things in it, and that will burn. And I like to have the water just tepid, just slightly warm. And then the beautiful thing, this is not full, so I'm not going to demonstrate, but you lean over a sink. You find the right, right way to lean, and you pour it literally. I mean, I'm going to go ahead and do this, but there's no water. And you, you pour it up the nostril. It's going to go up one side and down the other and stream into the sink. And it's interesting because if you lean different directions, if you lean back a little bit, it might even trickle some down your tonsil, down your throat. I still have my tonsils, so I like to clean them out every once in a while. Um, and then you just spit the water out. It can be gross. I get it. It's not sexy. But boy, does it relieve sinus pressure. It just helps clear that. You know what your air conditioner felt in your home, your air conditioner filter looks like? Um, well, that happens to our sinuses. Add to that smoke, add to that particulates, add to that, you name it, what's going on in the air right now. Um, this is really helpful uh, for, for clearing that. If you live out west like I do, I sometimes recommend people take a nasal swab, like a, a Q-tip, a and they just kind of lightly coat the inside. You use coconut oil. Some people like castor oil, olive oil, but you coat the inside of your nose after doing that, and it can catch particulates plus moisturize a little bit. So neti pot this is um a company i hope they still are in existence out of california baraka b-a-r-a-k-a -A. and i love these because the little hole is not super big some of the plastic ones uh, i don't like plastic anyway this is ceramic some of the plastic ones have a really big hole which puts a lot of pressure going through your nose so number two nasal flush flushing uh let's see Essential oil inhalation. Now we talked about diffusing. That's one thing, but you can also, I know when I'm at work, I can't have a diffuser with me. So I've got a roll on. This one's called Breathe Again. You can make your own. A friend of mine gave me a beautiful roll on bottle from Young Living that's got amethyst in it. It's so cool. I haven't made one yet, but this is nice because you can either, you want to, if you're going to put it on, you want to make sure it's not going to drip and you put it away from your eyes enough so it doesn't affect them. I like to put it right over my sinus maybe even on the side, but notice I'm not putting it directly near my eyes because it's strong, it's real strong. And I like to a lot of times too, put it in my palm. Um, oh, my hat's all skewed now, I can't, can't do that. But I like to put it in my palm. And again, be careful of your eyes, but you can create your own little aroma dome. Uh, my friend Julie Chertow invented the aroma dome and that's another one. If you have one of those, it's an incredible tool right now. <sighs> I like to inhale a few times. You can close one side of the nose and then you can close the other side. Just getting the oil up there different ways. Um, so inhalation, that's a really nice way to do it besides the diffuser, especially if you don't have a diffuser. You can even put it where you put perfume and you can, you can smell it. Um, all right, so we're gonna go into a little bit of mask etiquette. This is not a political discussion. This is not a health uh, discussion about anything about it other than good etiquette regarding masks because right now a lot of us like I, I live in a state where you can't go into a lot of places without a mask and I do need groceries and I do need to work so all that to say there's you get choices you know some people have really cute uh, little homemade masks or store-bought masks and then you got the disposable both of them have advantages, both of them have disadvantages. One disadvantage to this is um, people tend to still reuse it as if it were a cloth mask, okay? It's, it's not, you know, it, it's disposable. 
also what's happening is i if you've looked at any of uh my posts i'm re i'm really sad seeing how many of these i see on the ground uh in landfills and um I mean, not that I go to landfills, but in the ocean and the water, they're just blowing there. And these little things, if you can, if you can cut them before you throw it away, because um, if you're an ocean lover like me, you know, anything with a loop, in fact, with Young Living, I tell you what I do, they have a little plastic band around here. I always cut those before I throw them away to um, protect our ocean life. So don't reuse these. I mean, I understand if you're going in and out of a few places, um, throughout the day, uh, but I watch people all the time. There goes my dog, Daisy. They hang them from their rear view mirror, whether it's it's a, a reusable or a cloth one. And it's one thing to do that while you're driving. First off, it's not good for your field of vision. Secondly, I see people just, they leave them in their car, in their car, in the driveway, in the parking lot, whatever. So they leave these hanging, so they always have one handy. My guess is you're like me, and chances are this has been used once or twice. And when it's sitting in a hot car with limited air because the doors and windows are all shut, what do you think grows in back, you know, I almost gave it away, but what do you think grows when we've been sitting here having this on our face, um, whether it's our air, our spit, whatever, and then it's cooking in a hot car? Do you think the bacteria level on this might be pretty bad even after a little while? And then especially you leave it in there because you forget and, oh, I forgot, it. I'll just put it on, it won't matter. <sighs> it's setting us up for some serious sinus trouble. Um, again, I'm not a doctor. I can't tell you what it can cause, but we all know something dirty. Like, look at this. I mean, I've got makeup on this. And I even, <laughs> um, some of it doesn't come out when you wash it, which is another habit. I'm going to talk about strategy. In fact, it's further down on the list, but I'll talk about it right now. My son likes, he likes the reusable, I mean, yeah, the reusable cloth ones. And he said, well, mom, I'll just wash it in the sink. No, 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 no. Because <laughs> most people, you're, they'll use whatever soap is around there. And, and I'm sorry, I've never been able to get something cleaner hand washing it than I do putting it in the, in the washing machine on a light cycle. And so I like, again, I, I love my Young Living products. Um, I like to put a little of the Thieves household cleaner, just a little tiny bit in the laundry. And then when you're doing masks, not these, cause you're throwing away, you're cutting the loop, all that kind of stuff. Um, you know, a little, a little bag, you can, you know, get these at, at any store. You can use just a mesh bag in general, but put your masks in there because it, what happens a lot of times with the washer and you zip it and this one happens to be inside out so it's hard to zip but anyway with the washer that little mask if you don't put it in something first off it gets sucked up and all of a sudden you put on a pair of pants and you've got a big wad in there which is the easiest of things to happen but the thing that's not a great thing is when it gets stuck in your washer and your washer goes out around and starts doing this because it's got these little masks or your little socks or whatever that go in between. So we're not going to reuse them over and over and over without, if it's a cloth one, you can, but wash it. We're not going to hang it on the rear view mirror to bake and get full of bacteria and who knows what else. Um, something that's kind of a neat thing to do, I prefer to do it with the cloth masks, the cloth non-synthetic. Of course, now I can't get my zipper open for this to show you. But what I like to do, let's see if I can pull it out. Didn't rehearse that one. Oh, well, here we go. What I like to do is put a little essential oil. You can put eucalyptus, put a little drop in here. And then, um, again, you don't want to close your eyes, but then you can you can actually be inhaling that. And it's it's nice. It's oxygenating. It's great aroma. Um it's, it's a nice little habit. Now, there is a debate. I honestly don't know what all these are made of. And there's some of these that are polyester too, which is synthetic. And if you know much about essential oils, you know that essential oils are designed to pull toxins out. So if you're putting it on something synthetic and then inhaling it, especially if there's plastics in it, that might not be the best support. Um, I, I, I I question that. So if you have a cotton mask, that's one thing. Or if you can just simply take a break once in a while, put the oil in your hand like I showed you before, and just you know inhale for a while, 
that's a nice trick to get, get that into your system. So we've gone over air quality, like diffusing, affecting your air quality positively. We've gone over neti pot, nasal flushing. We've gone over essential oil inhalation. We've gone over not reusing your mask. I think we've beaten that dead, you know, that, that one. <laughs> we've beaten it to death. Um, not hanging the, the masks. Uh, essential oil dabbing, whether, you know, be careful if you're using plastic, you know, essential oils or synthetic materials versus cotton that you might actually be breaking down and inhaling some stuff that you don't really want to be inhaling. Um, the very last one I did talk about a little bit, but that was not hand washing these masks because I just, I just don't think they get as clean, but putting them in the wash machine, putting them in a little bag like this or a, a tie off bag that you can put them in so they don't get stuck in your washer and washing them. Don't keep one in your car. If you're going to keep anything in your car, keep a box. I keep a box of brand new um, ones of these. I need to put scissors in so I can cut these because what happens is I have them sitting around for a while. And, and I don't know about your household, but I know some of us, we throw our mask down. So it's nasty. It's, you know, somebody made a point, uh, Lisa, uh, one of, one of the ladies on my team, she made the point that, you know, these things, when they've got that much bacteria and they're pretty toxic after a while. And, you know, why don't we have like hazardous waste places to put these because they become that, you know, especially with us breathing and spitting and snotting and everything that happens. So, you know, why do I talk about this now? I talk about this now, obviously, because of what we're dealing with here in 2020, but also that we're, we are going into a season where people do get colds and things like that. So rather than stressing about it, be, be preventative you know, support your health. I, I, you know, the other things I'm not going to, I'm not going to lie, what you ate, eat makes a difference. If you're eating foods that cause a lot of mucus and congestion, like dairy and wheat and things like that, maybe you might want to cut out or cut back or something. Just try, see this, see what the season um, brings. If, if you do that, because when you, the more mucus you create, um, potentially more congestion and, you know, that, that goes into all kinds of things, but you know, these are just some thoughts. There's some strategies. Um, I share them because I know that if we don't, if we aren't proactive, then we get into reactive mode and it's a lot harder to, to get well once you're not down than it is to keep yourself well and to keep yourself strong. And the biggest thing is, you know, please, um, <laughs> there goes my diffuser again. Oh my gosh, that's so good. Um, but, you know, seriously, please pray for discernment. Um, there's a lot going on and stressing about it will not do anything to help your situation. It will not do anything to help your immune system. And it's, it's so vital to keep your mind uplifted and strong and, and you know, practice grounding every day. If you practice the faith, practice your faith every day um, and, and be kind to people. You know, look them in the eyes. It's really hard when all we have is this to go on. At work, I have to wear a ball cap. And so this is what people have to see. So I really try to make an effort to smile. I do smile with my eyes, but I do try to make an effort to do that. And I do try to make an effort to look into people's eyes. And I encourage you to do the same. I don't have all the answers. I do know I, I've always been willing to share habits, um, healthy habits, and simple strategies and all that. And I wish you, your family, your friends, your community well, uh, wellness and kindness and be the ripple of change you want to see in this world. You know, be that. Uh, don't wait for somebody else to do it or don't complain that others aren't doing it. You, you do it. Find a way. I know you can. I do. All right. Take care and uh, we'll see you next time. Adios.